Hi, I'm Ariane and Prometheus. We're book zealots. Mid month mashup. What a month it is. Whew. Okay, my hair was a little bit crazier earlier because I finally finished painting the schoolroom. It was all wood paneling. I hated it. I finally painted it. I want to paint these because I hate the dark wood. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> Where would you put the books? <laughs> Minor details. I would do a little at a time. Oh, I'd put them in boxes. Right. Everything would probably go into my room. And we'd become distracted. And then, anyway, okay, it, that's his fault. So hopefully the lighting is a little better. A little better. The ceiling light is horrible. What is the wattage of that? 40? 60? 60 combined. Two it's, candles? It's, it's those two LED bulbs, eh? Mm. LED can go rot in the pit of solar energy. Okay. Before I started painting, we had our house on the market, past tense. We found a buyer, except we couldn't find a house. So we had to take the house off the market. Yeah. Hopefully, when we go to sell again, those people will still want our house because it was relayed to me that they are now renting they decided not to buy. I don't know if that was their plan B. I hope it is. But in, in any case, you know, it's not rocket science. I'm looking for a house that has a gas range and a wood-burning fireplace. You would, you would think we were asking for a house made out of solid gold at this point. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I think there's probably a house made of solid gold. Somewhere that would Somewhere. be cheaper. Some Saudi Arabian sheik or something might have a house of gold. Or an Egyptian, because wasn't gold really abundant? Or maybe, yeah, anyway. Okay, <laughs> back up. What a month it's been. How's your reading going? Surprisingly better than any other month. Really? I have finished three books, at least. Interesting. I... well... Wait, when did I finish The Great Hunt? Mm. Four. This month. Yeah. You finished four... oh, okay. I have to add that to your... Okay, I will have finished four books. At least. I have to add that to your list. I... I think I did add... I added The Great Hunt. What other book are you talking about? The Two Moons. Oh, you finished that one last night. I finished that. And this one. Written Out of History by Senator Mike Lee. I've never heard of this guy. I don't even know how I heard of this guy. But I liked the books. This was a good book. I highly recommend this book. Doesn't matter what your political party does, doesn't matter. You need to know this book. This was really good. Um... Who was your favorite? Don't say the drunk. <laughs> yeah. Luther Martin, was that your favorite? Yeah. Yeah. Either that or the guy who got hit. The guy that, oh, the guy that got hit by lightning. So that would be James Otis. Yes. Yeah. Those two. I think I liked... George Mason and Mumbet. So, if you want to know who those people are, check it out. Or, you know, you can web search it, but... <laughs> We're not going crazy. And so, now this week, we have to read this one, Our Lost Constitution. And I say have to because it's scheduled for school. So we have... How many weeks to read this? One or two? One. Okay, because it's okay, so... Okay, technically we had eight days. Okay. I'm finishing it in six. And then after that we have the Madison, right? Do you want to grab... Do you want to grab that one? 
Um, this one is very interesting because it's talking about how certain people, okay, this will be our next book, James and Dolly Madison. Isn't that interesting? It was focusing on the guy. How come it's not focusing on the woman? Focus on Dolly. Wait, 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 wait. Why? Oh, maybe because she's psyched. Oh, and then it focused on Bonhoeffer. That's hilarious. Um, it's talking about people in modern time who have overreached the Constitution or flat out ignored it and how they have put other companies in power to create laws. No, they are not supposed to be doing that. Oh. And about the history part of obtaining our Constitution. He's ahead. I have to catch up. <laughs> you want to go get your Two Moons book? You keep talking. You want to talk about it? You keep, no. Oh, I will keep talking. Trust me. I'll, oh my goodness. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> I am so exhausted. That's hot. Oh, from Minnesota, don't you know? Yeah. There's no way I could tolerate Minnesota winters. Um, okay, so still reading. Oh, messed up my hat hair. Okay. <laughs> still reading Edward Snowden. This is so good. Um, and the beginning was a little slow. It was talking about, he explains his childhood and whatnot. And how he got into computers and... Uh, yeah, it was... Do, do you all remember AOL? <laughs> In so many ways, it life was simpler then, and yet I think it was just a lot of naivete versus now. And based on what he shares and his... Uh, his moral compass. He is innately moral. And so I know a lot of people don't consider him a whistleblower. They consider him a traitor, I guess. Yeah, there was an international hacker who supposedly did that. Who was uh, that? Who was the I, international okay, hacker? I heard there was an international hacker who leaked information on Snowden who claimed to be a retired military something or other. Hmm. I forget the name of him. I do not know anything other than that. Heard about him on the news. Take everything I just said with a grain of salt. Another thing I found interesting is that information that he wrote in here without coming right out and saying it or calling it what it has been dubbed is the Shadow Gate. But once I read it, I went, oh. No, no shadow government. I know about that. Anyway, I'm a little more than halfway. This is the book I read, When the Earth Had Two Moons. It was surprisingly diverse in pretty much every topic having to do with astrodynamics. It was an interesting book. It took us to the Earth, primordial Earth, having Earths crash into other Earths, Mars, the Saturn, Jupiter, how we have a bunch of different theories for rocky planet formation and gas giant formation, but none of them tend to work well together. It was a very fascinating book. That's all I'm saying. Oh, it's by Eris, uh, er Eric Fuss, Fusshug. <laughs> I believe he's Norwegian. I believe he was Norwegian at one point. I'll put the information down below. Um, what was that information you were talking to me about how the rock from the moon was that had the same components as earth rocks? Oh, the silicate, the zirconia silicates were like in that of the earth instead of the moon because the moon gets bombarded by a bunch of radiation and it didn't, and it doesn't have any oxygen. These zirconiums have a lot of oxygen that showed they formed an oxygen rich atmosphere, which quite probably. So, so how did our, how did earth rock get on the moon? 
Impact with asteroid. Okay. Reaching orbital velocities then picked up by moon. I think. That's their story and they're sticking to it? For now, anyway. Okay. Okay. So far, I have finished No Exit. I have finished Written Out of History, which I just shared. I have finished the Sundown Motel. Did, has anybody else noticed that the front cover is missing something? If you've read the book, you know what the cover is missing, right? That's very annoying to me because it was so repetitive in the book. Okay, anyway, I have finished Lock Every Door. I listened to that and... Two days ago, I had two audiobooks on hold. One was... Oh, <laughs> did you see that? That stuck to my hand. One was The Witches, which is... Witches... Witches... <laughs> no, I am not losing my mind, maybe. This book... I wanted to read it in the Octo in October, but since the audio was available, I thought I would listen to it at the same time. So I had this one. And then the other one, I think, was Evelina by Fanny Burney. And then I received another one yesterday. And that was Our Souls at Night. Oh, no, two. I received two yesterday. Our Souls at Night. And Cleopatra, which is this one. And then this morning, I received The Last Time I Lied and The Escape Room. I just looked at my account to see my, my holds, to see how long it would take for me to receive these books, these audiobooks. Most of them said, oh, you'll receive it in 12 weeks. Oh, you'll receive your number 37 out of two, two audio books. I thought, okay, I'm fine. I've, I have a very long time to go before I get to any of these books. So I have Evelina and the Witches. I'll finish those. I'll finish reading the books that I want to read because, 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 I have book ADD or book ADHD and I want to read these books. The Biology of Doom. Oh, helps if it's in frame, huh? Belgravia. Belgravia. I know, it does sound better with Belgravia, doesn't it? We apologize to all Belgravians. Um, okay. Bookmarked reading my way from Hollywood to Brooklyn. How to read a book. Okay, I started this one and it's really good, but it... I have to really concentrate on it. So it was my morning book, but then I had library books that were due. That's a whole nother topic. And the 11th plague, I want to read this. And then I get all of those library books. Library, well, technically the library audio books. And then my son hands this to me. Was this just today? No, it was today. Literally. While, while I'm finishing painting. Right. That was roughly seven hours ago. Was it really that long ago? I gave it to you around 11. Oh, that's right, because we were doing school. Okay. So he wants me to read this this fall. What? When am I supposed to sleep? I don't know. Do I need sleep? I, I wish honestly, I didn't. I honestly think you'll sleep better with lack of sleep. Okay. I was given a budget by my husband, $50 a month for books, which is fine. I could have more if I wanted it, less if I wanted it, but we agreed $50 would be a good amount. I think we should pay ourselves $50. If we do not buy any books, <laughs> and if I don't, <laughs> if I don't get any books from the library, <laughs> my husband bet me he doesn't think I cannot 
cannot not buy book get books from the library. Does that make sense? If I buy books from the library, I lose the bet. We didn't bet anything. Which is ironic because there's a very simple loophole out of this. What? The audiobooks? What? Me. What? No, that you can... Yeah, but remember during the whole beginning of this contagion, what happened? They threw us out. No! Your card expired. All right. Was... My card expired first. I tried to get it renewed. They wouldn't renew it. Nobody was answering the phone. Okay. 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 What? what? <laughs> why? Why? If you say you're going to have a phone number, would you not attempt to answer the phones more regularly? I. You would not believe how hard it is to actually get in contact with public officials at this point. Right. Nobody's working. It took me three tries just to get the hold of one representative. He has been working on a solar panel experiment. He read an article and he has been tracking people down to answer his questions so that he can complete his paper for school. It took an entire week to get, who was he? The guy in the government? It took a weekend. It took, it took one day. Oh, it took one day? One day. Well, who was the other person you were trying to get? Because it took a whole week. It was Geronimo Energy, I think. Oh, it was a company. I was trying to get... There was two companies. Yeah. Oh, my bad. The government official, I was able to get back in a day after three tries, but I've tried multiple times to call two companies who are supposed to own this solar panel company thingamajiggy <laughs> that's being built. Not it. Zip, zilch. Although I did eventually find another random number that I had written down that did get me in contact with somebody who has gotten me, who's gotten, getting, gotten, gotten me, <laughs> a, a, another word to, a, to describe the act of acquiring some information <laughs> so that I can call the construction manager so I can ask him questions, which I will do tomorrow because it is after five and I'm pretty sure that they're not going to answer me. Yes. And I'm, it, it's just, I, I just prefer not to call people. And the paper is due on Friday, no later than Monday. Wait, it is? Yeah. Look oh. at your schedule. I don't look up that beforehand. Oh, wait, no, is it this week or next week? I might have given you an entire week. We don't know. it's so hard to get a hold of people. But anyway, okay, what else? So, okay, so if I do not get any more books from the library, then I get to put that money in savings. Now, at this point in time in the year, it's obviously, what, going to be 200 bucks, three, four? It's not going to be that much, but still... And it isn't as though I need more books right now. Right? Mm. Wake up! Okay, so we talked about the, the house. We talked about the painting. We talked about the bet. And no more books. I'm grounding myself. Uh, oh, okay. So this fall, September, October, November... Tia and all the books is hosting a fall into reading with three, I believe three co-hosts or there are two hosts and two co-hosts. I'm sorry. I don't know. I will put their information down. I know it's Kelly and Angie and Rainy and Tia. And I think Tia got it all coordinated and put together. So three whole months, which is fantastic. And there are two different prompt calendar type things that you can follow and I also need to do a try a chapter to unhaul some books I've never done that so that'll be uh oh uh oh we have things falling yeah we still don't have everything put up on the walls yet okay is that it I think that's it Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for visiting. Thank you to our new subscribers. And please come back and join us. And comment below just to say, hey, whatever. Are you all going crazy? <laughs> I'm so tired of staying at home. I want to go out. I want a hamburger. I want to talk to people. Okay, yeah. Thanks. Bye.
This is version 3 or 4, test 5 or 6, I can't remember. There have been a lot of iterations at this point. We are using a tire compressor, and hopefully we'll get something this time. It'll be loud. Okay. 